So, uh, I'm gonna start this video by showing y'all some stuff. A little bit of show and tell here. This uh, is an Onnit brand gutta mace that is very scuffed up because I use it basically every day outside while I'm working out barefoot on cement. This is a running shoe that is honestly like on its way out, like I'm starting to poke foam over here. I could really use uh, a new shoe, but that's like so far down on my priority list. By the way, thanks to the uh, $25 donor uh, prior to this video coming out, and also to all of the other people who financially support this content, you keep this boat afloat and keep me posting my angry screeds but so those things are there this is a suspension trainer what you do is you put these notches in your door frame and make sure it's a strong like ideally exterior door frame and you can by these notches determine the amount of force, the amount of resistance, weight, etc., that you put in from your own body weight onto this end. You can use these for presses, for extensions, for like, you know, leg work, core work. Like, it's, it's like gym rings, um, you know, a full gym. Um, and, and more, like, you can add weight by adding a weight vest to your body. Like, this is very useful is what I'm saying. It's like, I think 300 pound, uh, tolerance, but don't quote me on that. Like, look it up. This is Spry brand. You can get it from, Wal from, uh, Walmart for like $15. Um, this is my daily regimen. I'm not gonna... You know, give you any advice because I don't know your like hormonal, metabolic, psychological bullshit. You know, consult a physician or licensed blah 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 blah. Cover my ass, right? This is melatonin. I take six milligrams about 30 to 40 minutes before I sleep. It's also really good for like, you know. <clears throat> antioxidant uh, effects, um, anti-inflammatory effects, uh, and if you don't get enough of it for one or more reasons, mine being that I spend too much time before I sleep in front of blue lights and shit, doing like, you know, whatever work I may have needed to get done before I slept, or just like relaxing, watching something, or playing a game, talking to people I know, you know, like, melatonin is useful. This is D3. I get it in uh, 5,000 IU uh, increments, and uh, what I use the D3 for is my immune system, my cognitive function, uh, my heart health, and a few other things. It's very useful. B helps you release the energy that, uh, th th that you get from your food during the day, and the B1 in here, uh, along with the choline, both help sleep. I take one of those before I sleep. Um, I take one of these a day just to cover all my bases, just a multi. Um, and I take one of these in the morning and one of these before I sleep. Same with the D3. Um, and I also take these, uh, two of these before each workout with breakfast. Like, what I don't take before I sleep I take with breakfast. Now why do I bring all of that up? Well, first off, because I'm still testing whether or not um, not swearing and bringing up something controversial in the first bit of your video gets you demonetized, etc. Well, I mean, gets, gets you, sorry, better rankings, etc. And two, because today's subject um, involves immune health. And I figure that it might be wise to start by showing my regimen so that people in the comments, etc., can tell me uh, 
either what I'm missing, etc. Things like that, right? I also try to eat high protein, you know, I, I either high protein or high fat. I try to have the carbs as balanced as possible and as close to nature as possible. Like today, basically, my carbs were a, a large potato uh, divided up over the day. Um, so that's the general vibe. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, I, I heard so much shit talking about coronavirus, about COVID. Just going to get those two buzzwords out there so that I can test and see if it being five minutes in has anything to do with it being like, you know, more favorable to me. But like, generally, that's that that's my regimen because um, D3 and zinc are very good for assessing the immune response, well, assisting, I guess, uh, the immune response to COVID and the immune response in general. If people have more of those, they had lower incidence and lower fatalities. That's why um, there was such a need uh, for people who live in places with uh, overcast qualities for that sort of supplementation. Um and why there was certain disparities in terms of genetics by, you know, separated by who could and couldn't uh, absorb certain nutrients um, through certain means, primarily, you know, uh, dairy products, which are a heavy source of D and also um, other essential vitamins and minerals um, for many Americans. I don't drink milk. So I supplement. I take 10,000 IUs of D a day, and I make sure to take uh, two components of a uh, calcium, magnesium, and zinc supplement. And I also have, for before I go to sleep, um, this. I just take like half of one of these um, because that helps with a whole lot of stuff, including sleep. So like I, I, I was incomplete in my earlier like demonstration. But the general vibe... I haven't gotten COVID. I haven't gotten any COVID with any symptoms. And I just can't help thinking that the reason I've been healthy this whole time uh, is because I uh, exercise. I, I, I try. Like y'all have seen, if you follow me on Twitter at JeremiahEXE, Y'all have seen my uh, my fitness posts, me posting about working out. You also know about it if you're on TikTok and you follow me at uh, Insanity is Free. You know that I be out here with this mace like all the fucking time, right? You know that I'm out there with the suspension trainer all the fucking time. So I'm trying really hard to stay healthy. And for some reason, I'm healthy. Meanwhile, the uh, chief associated thing with COVID fatality and extreme hospitalization was comorbidities. Like if you were obese, if you were a smoker, a drinker, um, if, if you were an addict to basically anything uh, during your life, um, if you engaged in enough unprotected sex to get an STD, especially an immunocompromising one, um, or, you know, you got it another way, um, there's all these, like, high-risk activities and comorbidities that were, like, heavily responsible and associated for higher levels of COVID fatality. And people who try harder to be healthier, people who uh, don't forget to stay hydrated and well-fed, and who regularly um, go outside, get that vitamin D, eat it in one form or another, those people had the best chance of either being relatively unscathed or surviving, 
this virus. And then, for those who didn't uh, go by unscathed, basically, um, the vast majority of them were asymptomatic. And they tested for it for like a job or something. And they found out, holy shit, I have it. I have it. I had no idea because I wasn't expressing symptoms. That that includes, by the way, symptoms like coughing and sneezing and shit. So, like, if they had it, but weren't coughing and sneezing and shit, maybe they just weren't that much of a risk to other people, right? But anyway, the point of bringing all this up, right? The point of bringing all this up responsibility, you know, taking care of yourself. That's how you stay healthy. Eating well, staying hydrated, doing what you can to live better. Uh, that's what you needed to do. It's still what you need to do. It doesn't matter what the illness is. You're going to stand a greater chance of survival and like getting natural immunity. Um, which James Campbell has some good videos on. Um, the the general, like, th that's the way you do it, right? So, when I see ivermectin trending, I know, I know 100% that what I'm going to see are people who don't understand science being hucksters about it. I, I It's trending again. It started trending today because people brought it up again. And people brought it up again partially because um, Mary Bowden, who's a doctor, uh, apparently helped uh, somebody <laughs> uh, like reverse their illness by prescribing ivermectin, but that wasn't the end of the story. The hospital refused to administer it, even though the family wanted it administered. And now, uh, the Texas Medical Board is setting up a hearing over it, and she's potentially going to lose her fucking license. Not exaggerating. And so, today was the perfect and most ironic way for people like Joe Biden to come out and say, if states try to block a woman from getting medication, the FDA has already approved it, and that has been available for more than 20 years. We'll act to protect a woman right to that medication. Yeah, for women. But then ivermectin trended, like, even further, because people were saying, you know, what about ivermectin? And you can still see, by the way, posts where people are calling it horse-based. This is disinformation. It violates the coronavirus disinformation policy to a fucking T. This was posted in 2021. No warnings on it. No nothing. Right? Looks like the horse dewormer fans are starting to find this. So I'll just remind them that we're lucky enough to live in an age where die mad is optional. Get vaccinated. Hysterical. And it's like, it's just part of this, right? So you've got this, you know, you've got all these people doing this, right? And you've got people talking about a new Paxlovid treatment from Pfizer. Right? People are just bringing this up because, hey, holy shit, there was something. Right? I'm not going to scroll too much more. But what I will say is, like, I think this relatively well uh, sums it up. Let me see if I can, like, bring this up. 
another MD, do you know that pharmacists will be allowed to prescribe Paxlovid, a $530 novel drug, with 32 drug interactions? Meanwhile, Dr. Bowden, who has treated uh, more than 4,000 COVID patients, will have a hearing on 727 with the Texas Medical Board for u using the 30-year-old drug Ivermectin. And there's, like, people below that talking about other people it's happened to. Um, and there's, like, an article over here. I'm not sure if I have it cropped right. Uh, whatever. I don't. Um, but there's, a, there's an article on uh, the Texan.news. You can read that if you're interested in more. Um, but basically, that's that's the way it is. And meanwhile, while these, like, there's a slew of people who are still calling it horse paste, despite it being a human-prescribed medication for humans that humans use and that got a Nobel Prize for human use, that one, uh... <laughs> People are, are, are still talking shit about that, still calling it horse dewormer, and more. In fact, one of the people uh, who doesn't like the kinds of things that I said in the beginning of this video, one of those people was that hall monitor Marxist I told you all about four days ago. That, that stupid bitch who tried to report my account for fucking posting about staying healthy being a good way to avoid viruses. He said he reported that! <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I guess people can report this too. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm, I'm not wrong. I'm, I'm exactly just right. And I'm using the same conventional wisdom that has been used for fucking ever. This is literally what I was taught by, you know, like, my school and shit. My parents who were in the, you know, medical field. My whole fucking upbringing, basically. Like, stay healthy, eat healthy, try not to be o overweight or obese. Don't drink, don't smoke, don't do recreational drugs. Go outside, exercise, catch some sun be with friends, try to lower your stress. All these things that lockdowns were against are the kinds of things that we had been told for years are the ways you stay healthy and keep yourself from getting sick. And now you're not allowed to say that without some bitch coming along and saying, I'm going to report you because it's created a fucking environment of Karens where they're like, oh yeah, I'm going to make fucking everybody's lives miserable who don't wear a mask, who don't take the mega corporations, mega uh, vaccine. Uh, maybe there's a problem when basic health recommendations are treated as conspiracy theories. Maybe there's a conspiracy against basic health, possibly for profit, possibly for power, possibly... Could it be? Could it be that the conspiracy is actually just that the state wants us weak and compliant? So they built a bunch of control mechanisms and ushered us into the Great Reset, Build Back Better fucking WEF, WTO fucking plan. The Bilderberg agenda they've been building for years. The ID2020 alliance mixed with the Digital Dollar Project, both basically the same people. Could it be? Could it be that, you know, there's possibly a, a, a safe and effective drug that's already been there for fucking ever that makes Joe Biden's stupid piece of shit tweet here seem very fucking off, right? Could it be that people have been lied to, hmm? Nah, it couldn't be. So, um... <laughs> This is, this is a pretty good reply to it, I would say. Um, and then, this was mine. The media and gov covered up the fact that Hunter Biden was a crack addict and more, 
and he hasn't been penalized pretty much at all for the contents of his laptop. Meanwhile, Mary Bowden is losing her license for prescribing ivermectin, while Biden says, if they try to block a woman from getting a medication, the FDA has already approved, and that has been available for more than 20 years, we will act to protect that woman's right to medication. Am I doing well on the Biden slur? <laughs> That's where we where we're at. We're we're doing so shit as a society and people aren't allowed to bring it up without fear of being mocked as a horse pastis. And just, you know, to talk about abortion a little bit further so that I can add that to the tags of this video. Um, you know, maybe like that abortion video I was talking about the other day. Uh, maybe we shouldn't be uh, talking about COVID misinformation and horse paste while we're also allowing uh, this here. This is still here, and it is not warned! It is not being suppressed. It is not being stopped. Motherboard is literally demanding um, <laughs> that people take HORSE MEDICATION and there are no fucking suppressives on it. Twitter has kept this up. Twitter has kept this going. Since May 3rd. And they still worked in. A fucking dig at Joe Rogan with the zany expression on. You may be reminded of ivermectin, which is used to control parasites and horses. And we'll ignore and lie about the fact that it's not used in humans and that he was prescribed a human medication. <laughs> it became a favored but ineffective COVID treatment among conspiracy theorists. Fucking what? And they, they did it over here too. This is still here. Rogan has recovered from COVID-19 and used his first show back to spread misinformation about the horse deworming drug he, he took. Horse deworming drug he took. They are allowed to lie. As long as you lie at the behest of the establishment, you can lie. But even if you tell the truth and you're not at the behest of the establishment, they will suppress you and call you a liar or a conspiracy theorist. You can't be right if they're wrong. You know, you can't be right. Hmm? We can't have that. It might make us look bad. It might reduce our profits and our power. Meanwhile, you know, while they're pushing hard against a human drug for humans, they'll just ignore that the president's son is a massive addict and lied on federal gun reforms and is probably a massive corrupt piece of shit. They'll ignore all the illegal things that Biden is doing right now, like sending reserves of our oil to China you know, in other countries, those things are supposed to be used for domestic use, but for some reason they're being sent over there. I wonder why. Almost like he's trying to butter up parts of bricks so that he doesn't have to play nice with Russia while he genocide baits um, over the Ukraine situation in an excuse <laughs> to continue the sanctions against Russia, which are quietly being dropped in the background, by the way. And while he uses all of this as a way to, you know, get us all distracted from the fact that, hey, the U.S. hates genocide, right? So why are they supporting Saudi Arabia while it does a genocide in Yemen? Why are they still doing that? Why are they part in part of Syria? Why are they in so many fucking places that they shouldn't be? Well, maybe because the machine is evil and corrupt and there is a conspiracy. Maybe... That's not fucking wrong to say! Just a thought. And that might be why people like Vice can tell you lies and not get fact-checked by Twitter. Because they're editorializers. They're biased. They're breaking the law about what platforms and publishers are. They're acting as a publisher, not as a platform. They are taking sides, and they are being biased toward one of them. 
This is true of any social network that allows this sort of lie to spread. And controls others. And stops people from speaking their mind. And stops people from engaging in reasonable discourse. This is the fucking reality. Twitter. Vice. The mainstream media. Fucking. They will push whatever lie and whatever spurious bullshit they can to keep you in line. That's why they wanted you so focused on the Trump Russia lie, which was later basically found to have been planted by the Clinton campaign. I'm not a Trump supporter. I think he's a piece of shit. But let me be fucking clear when I say the mainstream media's constant parroting of this thing, which was just pure allegations, and then them later finding out that it was a big nothing burger and then fucking just hoping the burger molds in the background before somebody notices it. This is evil. And it's designed to distract you from what they are doing to you. Biden wants to call all this Putin's price hike, Putin's tax hike, Putin's gas hike. Putin, 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 Putin. Blame everybody but the people in charge in your local area who force you to support them Voluntar involuntarily versus me who you can support voluntarily um, who forces you into their positions right those people don't get any accountability just say it's Putin it's the same exact shit for so many fucking years the US could hire Nazis to go after Russia the Galen organization the Nazis that they put into NATO, right? That was all fine. The U.S. could hire uh, Mujahideen to go after Russia in Operation Cyclone and a bunch of follow-up operations. The U.S. can uh, install a whole fucking government wherever that government may be in order to make sure that that region doesn't lose any U.S. influence, especially if it's to go against Russia. And then the U.S. can basically continually fund a single group of people in the form of the Ukrainians that they backed during Euromaidan. They can do all of that as long as it's to go against Russia. And they can still do that because, you know the invasion, right? I'm not pro-Russia, but what I am pro is truth. And the U.S. is using all of this stuff as excuses to continue stealing your life away from you, robbing your freedom. That's where we are now, right? And, and they can claim that they're doing all of this to keep you safe. But, but no, they're not. They don't give a shit about your safety. They just want you to sit down, shut up, and take it. And I think that's fucking evil. So instead of doing any of that, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Stay fit. Stay healthy. Be a human being. And most importantly, smash the state.